everybody can please make sure your cell phones are silenced. Um, after practice, I told the team, uh, you know, it's good to see that we have numbers out there. It's good for us as coaches. I know we're, we were very excited about transitioning back. You know, these kids have been working a long time, but um, you know, right now, like I told them, <coughs> we scheduled for a two-hour practice. <coughs> you know, it took us, um, you know, 17 minutes longer to complete that practice. Um, I think that's a good indication to show you that we have a long way to go. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of hard work ahead of us because, uh, you know, to become a good football team, you have to finish the, the practice in the amount of time. That's the first thing you have to do. So, you know, that's where we are, and we have a lot of hard work ahead of us, and we're excited about it. You can raise your hand and ask your question. Speak up, please, so Coach can hear. Coach, I know it's just shorts and helmets, so, you know, like you say, everybody looks good. I'm not, but, um, is that kind of what you're looking for the first week, the timing, getting things done on time, and... and is there anything else out there? Well, I think you can see the kids did some work in the off season as far as uh, the timing. You know, um, they had a lot of practices on their own, so you don't you don't really know what's going on until you get out there. Um, but, you know, you are looking for that as a coach, um, and you're looking just to you know to keep pushing them, see how you know see how hard they can go for an extended amount of time. You know, I think it's you know there's a big difference between conditioning, you know, running and lifting, and, and then. Uh, being on the field and uh, being in football shape, so you know that's that's when I say we you know we got a long way to go in that. And um, from the physical standpoint, you know you lift a lot of weights, but you know we're not into that part of the game, which is uh, you know obviously a, a, a big part of the game of football. The enthusiasm seems high, but then again, it's the first day; they're probably happy to be doing something different. Uh, you'd have to ask them. Yeah. <laughs> How about on your behalf? My enthusiasm is extremely high. Yeah. Coach, I saw you working with the tight ends a little bit early on and working on their blocking techniques. How do you think uh, your assessment of where they are and, and specifically Ron Thompson looked like you were giving some instruction? Well, I think, you know, you know, to be fair, uh, he has a long way to go. Uh, and, and I know I've said that before, but, um, you know, just from, you know, from stance, which I talked to him about today. So um, we'll see. And then, you know, when it's a live body in front of you, you know, not a bag, it's, it's a whole different story. Um, I'll have a much better assessment, you know, when we start. When the pads come on and we start going, but um, you know, I'm excited to be working with them. Coach, some of the incoming players you like um, <laughs> sorry, Marcus Pierce Brewster and Zan Jones. You know, what can you say about them having them on the field now? Well, I mean, you know, you know, they're here, they're practicing. Uh, I think it's a, a little bit probably tougher transition uh, for them. Uh, and again, they'll, they'll have, they have some work ahead of them, and uh, you know, we'll see we'll see how it goes. I mean. You guys will be able to see some of the stuff that we're doing, um, and it's just all a matter of, of how they progress, you know, during this preseason. I was wondering about Christopher Curtis. He wasn't on the depth chart the other day, but he was out there today, and he looked, you know. If he wasn't on the depth chart, it's probably was just an oversight. Yeah, it's just an oversight. Yeah. Okay. You know, he's injured, and we're waiting to get him back, and um, you know, we feel we'll get him back in camp. And, uh, you know, hopefully, he can, uh, you know, get himself healthy. You know. He, He's done some work in the offseason, and, you know, we like to get him back there because, uh, you know, he showed some signs. And, and uh, you know, consistency and progress is a big thing, and it's very difficult to uh, to play this game, especially when you're young. You know, these kids are young. Uh, they're not 10-year veterans or 15-year veterans. Uh, you know, you have to be available, and sometimes you, you, you can't control that through injury. So. You know, we feel very comfortable with our training staff. We feel, you know, great about uh, the job that they do in rehabilitation. We feel great about our doctors. So, uh, you know, they'll do the best job they can to get them on the field uh, as quick as they can. Dave? Doug, I know in the past it used to be a big deal, uh, you know, with uh, conditioning. You know, who could do the 16 110s, and, you know, that Coach Pasqualone used to say was the measure of in shapeness. Oh. Where is the conditioning, football conditioning of this team? Are you happy with it? Well, I, th I think, you know, you know, during the summer, they're conditioned quite a bit. And, um, you know, I think it's, you know, they got it up to about like 32 110s now. So I, I'm never concerned, uh, you know, Will Hicks and Hal Luther, I've never been concerned about the players' uh, conditioning, you know, from a standpoint of, you know, their responsibility to get them ready to play. Um, everywhere I've been, I've always believed in this. Uh, I 
myself from my own experience as a player, um, there's a difference between you know being able to go out there and, and, and run and endurance and, and, and um, you know and sprint, and then to go out on the football field and do it with you know X amount of pounds uh, put on your body. So um, I, I really think that that, that Will Hicks and Al Luther did a, did an excellent job. You know from uh, from what I've seen out there. Looking at the players physically, not not necessarily on performance, and uh, you know now it, it's it's our our responsibility, you know, as coaches, you know, to make sure that you know we're ready to play the game of football. Coach, I know it's just one practice, but Marcus Sales having you know just only spring ball. What did you see from him as far as you know work he put in during the summer? Well, I think you know Marcus knows uh, how I feel. You know, Marcus is uh, always you know the type of player that has the ability uh, to do some good things for us. Uh, you know, it's all been about consistency. You know, and I, and I think I've said that before, and I've said it to Marcus. He has that in him. Um, so for me to comment on him, I'm going to wait, wait to see. You know, making sure that Marcus is consistent throughout. And if Marcus is consistent throughout, then he'll be a very good player for us. Okay. Coach Jerome Smith, you know, obviously in spring practice, he was the big running back that came out of that as far as, you know, positivity and what he brought. Starting today, you know, what did you see from the running backs? Did Jerome Smith take off from where he was before? Well, there's a lot of running backs. And, um, you know, it's, it's difficult, again, to, to give a good assessment of it. Uh, I know that Jerome will work extremely hard, but there's competition back there as well as the other positions. And, um, you know, we'll see as we go. But, you know, you know today... You know, you know, they say one kid was better than the other. You know, I just look at the thing as a whole, uh, not specifically right now. Uh, no one has really separated themselves, you know, from, from the group. So, you know, I think everyone, not just Jerome Smith, has a, has a lot of work to do and a lot of, there'll be a lot of competition in this camp. How did Sean Hickey do filling in for Pew today? Well, you know, I'm, I was I was worried that I told him, I said, this might be the longest you've ever practiced, you know, since he's been here. So. Uh, you know, I joke with them about that, and again, um, you know, that, that'll be a long work in progress. I mean, you just don't go from not playing for two years to go in there and play. Uh, you know, that's very, very difficult to do. I mean, he's been out uh, for quite a bit of time, and uh, we're excited to have him back, and we're excited to work with him. A couple more questions. When do the pads come on? Shoulder pads come on on Wednesday, Thursday. Don't quote me, but I think Friday's full pads. Final question for it's, on the, it's on that sheet that we handed out. I just can't remember. <laughs> okay. Overall, you know, getting back out here for, you know, starting out fall practice, you said that from the end of the last game, you kept working all the way through, but now that the team is back on the field, overall, how do you feel about today? I feel right now that, that we've got a long way to go. we got, we got a lot of work to put in. we got a lot of reps to get. Uh, you know, we're, we're not where we want to be right now. Thanks very much, everybody. Thanks, Great. Coach. Thank you. Thank you.